buying you things, paying all the bills, taking care of you free of charge. Just need your love in return. How is that not the prize? Trying super hard to play with their nieces or nephews just to impress a girl. And those kids couldn't be less intrigued. What is a narcissist? A narcissistic baby father. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thought. I haven't gone into the dating world in maybe six years. You do not want to be the recipient of a shut up ring. Just shows how much better women are in the Philippines. You look really happy. I'm excited for you. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right to this. Men are becoming way more sassy, sassy. Typical. and way more like they want because girls are fighting for like equality. They're like, okay, like they think they're the prize. Like nobody's chasing you. Mm. <laughs> nobody's no chasing you. you. You're not the prize. Men are becoming sassy. Eh, you know, typical Bob word, but we're becoming sassy equals men are starting to know their worth. See, this is not the old generation. It's 2024. Like she said in the video, these women want equality until it's not benefiting them, until it becomes them spending their money. Like these women are literally screaming equality. We want equality. But when it benefits the man and it helps the man, it's not cool anymore. It's all of a sudden men aren't being men anymore. No, women aren't being women anymore. Exactly. That's the problem. You women expect to work full time jobs, making the same amount of money as men, sometimes even more, but don't want to come out of pocket. This just shows you how greedy women are. They talk about all this equality, but the whole time they want to be in a power position. Come on. And then they go on to say men aren't the prize. Well, if somebody is paying all the bills, buying you things, paying all the bills, taking care of you free of charge, just need your love in return. How is that not the prize? Because if I had a woman that was paying all my bills, how would she not be the prize? That's insane to me. It is. And what's going on right now with Scarface Mark, they're showing, they're showing how entitled women are, because why are you getting mad? For a man speaking up and a group of men speaking up and throwing back what's happening in your face, it's something you need to see because it sounds ridiculous. That's just how it sounds to guys. What's up, my guys? I know how much my followers love to talk about just how much I get around. So I figured I would use the experience to my benefit and talk about my opinion of things men do that just give me the ick. My biggest ick, so if you want to stop watching here, you totally can, is when a dude bursts in a song. Oh my god, it's so uncomfortable. And like when they try hard doing it. I can't. I'm watching this and she has that big cold sore in her mouth with a bear in her hand. I'm talking about guys, guys, get on me when I sleep around. It's, it's bugging me out. I dated this dude that took singing lessons once a week. It was so freaking cringe. Like, I was a better singer than this dude. Getting carded. Calling me sweetie. Using emojis. Or even worse, bitmojis. Trying super hard to play with their nieces or nephews just to impress a girl. And those kids couldn't be less intrigued. Same with dogs. When they say, oh my god, dogs love me. And the dog just doesn't give a flying when their ears are shiny on the inside counting calories we do not care him asking the salesperson where an item is when you're in sephora to put this in perspective it's kind of like if you took me to a football game and i asked the dude sitting next to us what the score was using the wrong there there and there and your and your jeans that are too short and nails that are too long more and more complaining on the most nonsensical things like why are you stressing Little things like that. Like, imagine men sitting around all day like, oh, this gives me the biggest ick. I'll be honest with you. I could care less. That's just how I am. I can care less what somebody's doing that will give me an ick. I just don't pay attention. I ignore it. How to deal with narcissistic baby father. The narcissistic male. Narcissistic relationship. What is a narcissist? Narcissistic baby father. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Look what it says. If y'all so good at diagnosing narcissists, how do they keep 
getting y'all pregnant. Word. Now you're single, mom. Now you're single, mom. Do you find it tough to date? Very. Very, but I'm also not trying. I've been a serial monogamist for a while. I got out of a long term, long ish term relationship a few months ago. Um, but yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult, but I also haven't tried. But I'm, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm expecting. Corn. I haven't gone into the dating world in maybe six years. I've been in long term relationships. She hasn't gone into the dating world in six years, but she's going into long-term relationship. Man, 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 man. That woman is such damaged goods. I don't know why she thought she would be able to come back from a corn career and have a regular life, especially her being of Middle Eastern descent, right? She looks just like those girls that wear a hijab on, and she got bashed for it. For that, for that alone, and not even that, everyone knows your face. You still look exactly the same. It's, it's weird, man. That that girl's not Asian yet. Hey, I give a hand clap to that. You're actually aging very well, but you see what happens after you live that corn life? And a lot of women are doing it and following those footsteps. I say women that are following it, that are making like 150 bucks on only on only friends. Look at Mia before you get into it and say, I don't think that's the life I want. Corn. People are screaming about reproductive rights and, oh, they're still not rights and they're making it difficult for us. And, oh, my goodness, we're going to have to have these babies that we laying down and have. So now we got to have the babies that's being produced. from. What are they doing to us? So in line with reproductive rights, you're telling me that now you can actually get an over-the-counter birth control pill? That now you can actually call in virtually. You don't even have to go to a doctor. Physically going to a doctor. You can do a telehealth video call and order abortion pills. These are way more lax regulations than what they were prior to, you know, the so-called ban on abortion. This ideal of, you know, we're being suppressed or oppressed. And it's like... Are you really? The only thing that's being suppressed and oppressed is family, motherhood, raising healthy children, having the mindset of being a mother and understanding what that entails. That's the only thing that's being oppressed and suppressed. It is. And it's being oppressed and suppressed because a lot of times people come from single mother homes. And with the single mother home, the mother doesn't have the time for the kids. She just doesn't, right? She's juggling so many things. And then don't let her be one of those moms that still wants to get a groove on. Because then you have kids that are damaged, kids that are not paid attention to, and kids that are not getting the proper treatment, right? Just from a man's, a man's regular understanding as a man, right? And from his natural, his natural push to be a leader, his natural, you know, the way he's a fatherly figure, the way he talks, the way he motivates, right? That drives kids. And it pushes kids to do more because they think, they look at it and go, wait a minute, I need to please my dad, right? Because dad, dad is not playing. When dad talks, you listen. When dad, what dad says goes, it's a lot different. The thing is, men know. Talk to any happily married man out there. They will say, I knew almost instantly. Didn't take long at all to know that this is the woman that I wanted to be my wife. I mean, at this point, it is commonly understood by psychologists that it only takes six to seven months for an average person to know whether they would marry somebody, whether somebody is marriage material. And women, in their gut, they also know. And if you don't care, if you don't want to get married, that's fine. I'm not talking to you. But if there is even a thought in your mind that you want to get married, that you want to have kids, get out, cut loose, because again, you have a set amount of time. You have a window. Those are precious years. If you see the signs that he is being wishy-washy and not interested in commitment, do not try to change him or fix him, and certainly do not try to convince him that he should want to marry you for eight whole years. That is ridiculous. You do not want to be the recipient of a shut-up ring. Have some self-respect and respect the time of your partner. That goes both ways. She's right, right? When I got, when I got my wife, I knew within six to seven months that she's my wife, right? I seen how she was with kids she was teaching. I seen how responsive she was. I seen how responsible she was as far as, you know, the things she would do for me and also did for herself. What I mean by that, she would work all day. And then sometimes she would help me with my work at home job. It was, it's wild. After working 12 hours a day, I don't know how she did it, but she did it. 
But that let me know right there. This is a keeper. And also, she's a Filipina. And we know a lot of people say, oh, Filipinos ask you for money. She didn't ask me for money. She actually rejected me even breaking up money. And so that's how I knew. That's my lady. I want something feminine and delicate. So much good stuff started happening for me when I remembered that my husband was my partner. How could I forget, right? But when you're in the throes of motherhood, and especially when you have young kids, and it seems like you just want to get it done, you just want to get it done, just, and he's not doing it right, or he's not doing it fast enough, or it's taking too long to do it, or it's just easier if you do it yourself. And all of these things are true. And it actually might be fine at first. You can handle it at first. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's too freaking much. You're trying to get out the house. You put in jackets on all three of the kids. He comes down the steps already. Y'all ready to go? But when I tell you, once I reached out to my husband and told him, I need your help. Can you do this? I literally got my friend back, y'all. I literally got my friend back. That's priceless. It stopped being him and me and the kids. And it was me and him and the kids. Because that's what a partner is. It's you and your partner against those badass kids. Well, I'm proud of her. I'm happy for her, actually. Right? She chose to do this. Talk. She didn't yell. She didn't scream. She said, can you help me? And what happened? You say that to a man. Most men will help. They will oblige. And look what happened. She got her friend back, right? The sexual relations probably was popping. Everything else probably hit. And yeah, he probably hit again. Who knows? She probably was felt reluctant to give him any. But I'm proud that she chose to talk. And maybe if that didn't work, she probably would have went to counseling. Right. And probably would did more and more. But I'm happy she chose that way instead of saying, I'm bored. He's not my friend. And then go and talk to a friend. Talk to that person that's sitting right next to you. That's the way to get it done. Passport Bros Winning is a book face group. Ah, oh, here we go again. Where men share stories about their international dating experiences, Jesse posts. American women make me laugh when they say I'm controlling after I tell people my fiancé from the Philippines gave me all her social media account info and deleted her old TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook info when we got together because there was too many males on it. Now, she only has female and family friends. These American women say, you're so controlling, she shouldn't have to do that. Well, my dear, I never asked her to do any of it. She just did it the day we got together. I didn't even have to ask. She just did it. Just shows how much better women are in the Philippines. Well, Jesse, I'm not going to argue with you about how wonderful and beautiful women from the Philippines are. You look really happy. I'm excited for you. And women like you is the reason why they're getting it. Because y'all do sound language. Shaming, insulting, guilt, and need to be right. Look at that expression. Good luck, sweetie. I'm sorry. Bitter much, much? Did you, did you see that? Now, she probably just has a face like that, right? But this is the thing. What did she do? Right away, the Filipina wanted to show and prove to him, right, that she's worthy of his love and he's worthy of her love. That was a gesture. That was proof. Same thing happened to me, right? Do you know right now, I have access to all of her accounts and I don't mind her having access to my accounts. Why is that? Because she helps me with everything I do. I have nothing to hide. And when a guy gets with a woman, he wants that security. Do you know what happened in my past relationships? Nightmares. And where was the problems at? Where did all of the past friends come from? Right? Who my, my ex situation is with her past people. That stayed around lingering in the background, right? Why did that happen? Because those things weren't deleted, right? Those nightmares always come back. Every time. Doesn't fail. And I, I'm I'm living proof myself of why it's good that she did what she did. I'm living proof. Woman barking all that nonsense about your relationship on Facebook. I'm sure 
I don't know if any guy, other guys have been, been to it, but I've been to it before. It's a nightmare. So shout out to this Filipina, man. She showed and proved I'm the one for you. That's why he's so happy. She may not have you. I don't know what may be wrong with her right there. She probably just wasn't smiling, didn't feel like smiling. But stop being salty, right? They're mad. You see it, y'all. They, they're mad. And the reason why they're mad, because they see guys are happy, guys are leaving and finding success. What does that prove? That prove that this is the way. Oh, absolutely. This is the way. This is the way. And more guys are, are going to find that way because they realize this is the way. Your passport, bro. Make sure your passport. No. Definitely more to life than dealing with a woman like you.